Here we're given the position of a car and we're trying to figure out the acceleration at t equals one. The way we do that is by taking two derivatives. One derivative of position gives me velocity, one more derivative gives me acceleration. So let's go ahead and get s prime of t, which again will be our velocity. Three halves comes down in front, three halves times one third is one half. And then we're gonna say times t squared plus three now to the power of one half. Three halves, so you subtract a power of one. From that power, you get one half. Don't forget the chain rules at play. The derivative of the inside function, the derivative of this t squared plus three, is 2t, so a 2t will pop out. I'm gonna clean this up a bit before taking the next derivative. Two times one half is just one times t. I'm gonna put the t out in front. So we're gonna say t times t squared plus three to the one half. Now remember, this is merely our velocity and we're looking for acceleration, so we're gonna take one more derivative. Unfortunately, this time, we have a product. We didn't have a product before, sure, we had a product between one third and a function, but a constant doesn't count as a product. It's between two variables where we have to use the product rule. So t and this t squared plus three to the one half uh, requires we use the product rule. So when I go to take this derivative, v prime of t, this will be our acceleration, I'm gonna use the product rule. I'm gonna take the derivative of t, which is just one, leaving the t squared plus three to the one half alone. And now I'm gonna leave the t alone and take the derivative of t squared plus three to the one half. The one half will come down in front multiply by the t squared plus three, now to the power of negative one half. We have to subtract one from that power, and don't forget the chain rule still at place. We take the derivative of that inside function here, t squared plus three's derivative is two t. Now I could simplify this, I could clean it all up, but you know what, I'm not gonna do any of that. Because after all, my job is to plug in t equals one. So instead of simplifying in all these variables, let's just plug in one and simplify from there. So a of one equals, one squared is one plus three is four, so we have four to the one half plus one times one half times uh, one squared plus one squared is one plus four three is four four to the negative one half times two times one so times two okay let's figure out what this answer is four to the one half is better known as two that's the square root of four uh, four to the negative one half we take the reciprocal and take the square root so four uh we square root it gives me two and flipping it gives me one half so we have one half times one half is one fourth times two would be one half so we have two plus one half for an answer of five halves and that is our final answer.